Jackson, which is trivia, but that we're going to do a little bit. All right. Guys, this is the part where we give back to you, the lovely audience. Thank you so much for coming. It's an opportunity to win 25 free dollars in the form of a gift card to Midtown Comics. Who would like a chance to win 25 free dollars? Simply raise your hand. Yes, you. Come yeah. on down. Yeah, you yeah. stand on this All side right. of the table. Uh, this is your possible gift card. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so today's trivia is on Mighty Avengers. Oh. So if you were paying attention at all, uh -oh. you won't have any idea what this trivia is. No. But I think you'll be all right. So this is how it works, all right? You re listen to the question, then listen to all three possible answers. Okay. Basically go, the same rules as a normal conversation. Uh, go, <laughs> listen in response. Uh, go three for three, the gift card's yours. Okay. All right. Thank you, Boo. We will be the same to get you in the mood. All right, here we go. Mighty Avengers, uh, the first time the team got together, it was Iron Man, Ares, the Century, and is it A, the Wasp, B, the Hulk, or C, Junior Mafia? So it is either A, the Wasp, or A. Okay, so most people say Mighty Avengers really started after what issue? Is it A, number one, B, number 21, or C, not hundreds? <laughs> so it is either A, or it is B, which is the correct answer. It is not not So you would probably go with not the first letter of the alphabet, but maybe the second letter of the alphabet. I'm going to go with B. B is correct. After number 21. I love the one shot, not covers. That's great. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I break Phil What pocket came into being in issue number 25 and 26? It is A, the pin po pin pocket, B Reed Richards uh, stretchy pocket, or C Polly Pocket. Nice. <laughs> How are you feeling about Hackslash moving over to Image? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't even know about that. I'm <laughs> oh, surprised. <laughs> a friend tells people things that are important. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you had it. You know, that's the thing. That's what friends do. But when oh. people aren't friends, Ouch. they don't do things. Oh, uh, Justin, what are you looking forward to? Uh, Pete and I were going to spend the day together. <laughs> Is that an alternate universe or a, uh... I guh? I guess I'm just looking out on the blackest night. <laughs> Razzle's coming out right on time. I'm surprised you're not looking forward to that. I don't know. What's my, I don't care. <laughs> just, uh, she Hulk just... Sensational number one is coming out. <laughs> she Hulk's anniversary. Let's all go celebrate. <laughs> Cool. Uh, that is a wonderful comic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think I make it. I make a cameo in that, right? Yep. As a real human yeah. being, I had yeah. to sign a contract and everything, saying I would not sue. For those of you that don't know, that man in the audience is from the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, like the last time I physically appeared in a Marvel comic, uh, Bendis did a story for Spider-Man meets Stan Lee. Uh -huh. On the backup, every single person who appeared, it's um, Impossible Man, goes to the Marvel Comics offices. Everyone in the Marvel Comics offices, and I'm, I'm there doing this wacky stuff with Joe Quesada, everyone there was drawn 30 pounds lighter. Everyone like, people like John Barber, first time I've ever seen him in his life with a chin in that book, ever, except me. And I was drawn at actual weight and size. And I'm like, what, was I supposed to pay, like Bagley something, like slip under the table? Like, yeah. Take off a few pounds. That's how Bagley makes a lot of his money. <laughs> Bagley! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, it's got to be uh, Roger Stern coming back to Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, a sequel to Nothing Can Stop the Juggernaut. 
Something can stop the juggernaut. What? Oh. What? You're gonna have to read it to find the juggernaut. It's taking his helmet off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just taking his helmet off? No. Asking him politely to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, thank, plug your stuff. What's coming out that people should? Um, I have nothing coming out. <laughs> what? I have nothing coming out. Well, you're gonna be at, at WizardCon talking. I'm gonna be at uh, wiz at the uh, oh, look. At, um, I completely forgot the name of the show. WonderCon. WonderCon, okay. thank you. I'm going to be at WonderCon this weekend in San Francisco, plugging uh, the video game and telling people secrets about it. Uh, and, uh, but not us, you can't tell nope, us. Nope, right? can't, can't talk about it. I really want to call it Spider-Man Shattered Glass, but that's not what it is. Right? Right. Shattered Glass. Right. It's not about Spider-Man uh, faking his journalism. No. With uh, some of the programmers, developers, and, uh, and with one of uh, the voices of our Spider-Man actors, uh, Christopher Daniel Barnes, who was the Spider-Man uh, of the '90s. So it's like really wow. cool. Yeah, he, he was he was Greg Brady in the Brady Bunch movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, how am I doing? Uh, so we'll look forward to that and uh, whatever else you have coming. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice. Avengers 36 wrapping everything up uh, next month. Awesome. If I get the script done tonight. <laughs> no. No. Do you think the stuff that happened on the show will influence your writing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There'll be many scenes with giant bullets and black lights. <laughs> no, I was thinking more like, wait, the only way of beating Ultron is three guys. Four, four guys. <laughs> <laughs> three visible guys and one that you don't really see. I've come out about halfway. I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> We're every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Please tell your friends. Good night. Thanks, everyone.